face mask. You know. Dr. Molumi says with the increase in the number of COVID-19 cases in Port Mosby, the 76-bed facility at Rita Flynn is sure to be full, and the National Capital District Provincial Health Authority is looking at turning the Taroma Aquatic Center into an isolation facility similar to the one at Rita Flynn. And from past experience, PMGH has helped set up the Rita Flynn facility with assistance from its friends, and they hope to pull together some resources again through this appeal to set up the Taroma facility. PMGH must be left alone to continue the normal service. So we are doing this call to assist us, or PMGH, as well as uh, NZDPHA. We are helping them to set up those facilities so that they take the load of us. Yes, so we continue to provide the normal services. Apart from beds, beddings and PPEs, the appeal also calls for donation of items like fridges, cooking utensils, food, among others. We are supplying the food. PMGH cooks the food for the patients at the... Uh, Flynn. For the staff, we provide the food. While responding to concerns being raised about COVID-19 patients being kept at PMGH, Dr. Molimu says the hospital will also turn one of its wards into an isolation facility. This will help house patients suspected of having COVID-19 while tests are being conducted to confirm their status. We see that there will be an increase in the number of cases coming in with sorry symptoms, flu-like. So we have to put them in a particular area where we screen all of them before they actually go into the ward to make sure that uh, uh, they do not take the virus into the wards and then infect the staff and of course the vulnerable patients that are in there. PMGH has an MOU in place with the NCD Provincial Health Authority to assist run these centers and its call for donations is to assist NCD PHA. Ruth Rungola, National MTV News.